Yeah, I would agree that uh, we could have applied ourselves a bit better. Uh, there were certain decisions we made while we were batting that were not the right decisions. Um, yeah, so in that case, yeah, I was say they could have easily got away from it, got away from us with about 250 plus 300 uh, in the last inning. That would have been exceptionally difficult. So. You know, the way we bowled and, and the way we kind of applied ourselves in the field and, and in the first innings with the bat, I think it was very good. Um, just very disappointing we, we didn't manage to, to kind of apply ourselves better and then get it closer to 200 anyway. The chat we had in, the, <coughs> in, our, in our meetings was that the ball's not turning that much actually. Uh, and I think a lot of dismissals were actually in both teams. I think there were quite a few dismissals from a lack of turn more than the most uh, uh, excessive turn. Um, and sometimes those are the more difficult pitches to play on. Um, but in saying that, as I said, we, the chat was to, uh, that the ball wasn't turning as much, um, but there were just a few errors in decision making that kind of cost us a bit. We actually kept it as simple as possible that there has, it's not turning as much. Uh, if you get a good ball that turns, and so be it. I mean, uh, the ball that Stian got, for example, was, was a pretty good ball. Um, and you just got to, you know, put your gloves under your arms and then say, you know, well ball. Uh, but for the majority of the test match, it was about trying to play the ball as straight as possible. Um, and if you get a good one, so be it. Credit to India, they bowl well. And I think 200 on that wicket was a, a challenging target. We would have probably, I think 160, 150, 160 would have been a, a really good uh, kind of game to, to set up. Uh, but yeah, listen, going to the next test, whatever, whatever we dealt with, I think we've prepared amply enough. There were just a few mistakes that we made. And uh, unfortunately, in this game, it, it cost us. We thought we'd try and mix it up, get a right-hander up front. Um, and Vernon, I've always felt, has got one of the most solid techniques. Uh, I mean, he's done a great job for us at number seven, sometimes the second new ball and things like that. Um, it didn't pay off this game, but I, I firmly believe it was a, it was a good idea to try and change it up, especially if Ashton was going to bowl. Um, with two left-handers, it would have been very difficult for them. Um, but, you know, Nadeja got him out uh, the ball that didn't turn much. So, um, as he could have won the both ways. And I think the way Stian played at number six kind of showed that, um, you know, had it kind of panned out really nicely, it would have given us good depth in our batting, having Stian at, at six and Dane at seven. If you look at the game, right until the last innings, uh, I think we kind of did pretty well. Uh, kept the game pretty close to us and, and almost gave us a chance to win. If the wicket's the same, then hopefully we don't make the same mistakes and <clears throat> win the game. So, yeah, I, I'm putting it down to we made a few errors in judgments and nothing to look further than that. Uh, as I said, as a whole, we played exceptionally good cricket. I think uh, other teams might have fell away but earlier in the test match, but we managed to hold the game and, and sadly we didn't uh, follow through in the last innings.